Hey guys, what's up? Anthony here again, and I want to apologize ahead of time for the gameplay and the video if it seems like it's not up to my usual standards. I just really felt the need to get a video out, just to be honest with you guys. Um, I really miss posting on YouTube, and I miss talking to all of you. I miss the feedback and the comments, and I've noticed that I've gotten some new subscribers. Um, thank you guys for you know coming on board and everything, and I really apologize again for not posting. It's just... It's not that I haven't wanted to, it's not that I haven't had time, it honestly is just that I have not been playing video games lately, and I've been too fucking lazy to make a real life video. I have a camera sitting like right next to me, and I'm probably going to start doing those again. Um, so we'll work something out. Something will get worked out again. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for sticking with me. I, and again, the gameplay is not going to be that stellar. The beginning's cool, and then I transitioned in the middle of the gameplay because it was really long. Um, I got on Modern Warfare 3, you know, sparingly, and uh, this is the best I could do because I'm not that good at the game. So, and my channel was never about the gameplay anyway. So, really, who gives a shit? Like, honestly, um, it's like 4:30 right now in the morning, and the reason why I wanted to make this video just it was really because you guys, you guys kept me coming back you guys pulled me back and um mike i want to thank you or me have no name if you guys see him in the comment section go ahead and give him uh give him some love because he he really brought me back um he's he keeps messaging me and asking me about uh what i do when i work out or p90x and all that stuff and and i wanted to make sure that i really kept my promise to him and kept my promise to you guys you know and i told you guys this year was going to be real um and i'm you know i'm sorry that i haven't posted i can't apologize enough i know i sound like a sappy little bitch right now but that's just you know that's just how things are um i'm really sincere when i say that and and i never say anything i don't mean um and and i, I really want to post more so i'm going to try my best i already played black ops the other day and i got a gameplay so that'll be up soon um hell i might even post another video today because this one will probably render by the time i leave but um School's been going good. Um, it's been going pretty good. That's basically what I've been doing is school and my girlfriend. Um, she is my girlfriend now, and I mean things are going good. I'm really happy right now as far as that whole aspect. But it, it does it doesn't come without um, its fair share of problems. Um, a couple things that like I, I'm not used to having to deal with or, or juggle is, and it's life. It's life type of shit. Usually I follow a really strict diet, but. My girlfriend, she likes to feed me, <laughs> and so, um, so I find myself eating some food that I really normally wouldn't eat too often when I'm with her, but that's not really that big of a deal. Um, it's nothing that's affecting things too much. Um, I just get a little bit of uh, normalcy when it comes to eating every once in a while now that I'm with her, and, and, and it's actually not, it's pretty nice actually, to be honest. It, it kind of keeps me balanced, and it keeps me in that good area, um, and that's the thing that I really wanted to hit home with you guys is... If you can, yeah, eat strict 100% of the time or 90% of the time, whatever works for you. But if you can't and, and you know, that, that's just not an option for you, it's not going to kill the way you look or, or your results or anything. It's just obviously the better you eat, the better you look, the better you feel, the better you perform. That's just how that works. That's how the body works. It's like giving the right gas to a Ferrari or something. That's really how I look at it. And, um... You know, lately I just haven't been giving it the premium stuff 100% of the time. It's more like 95% of the time. So, but you know what? That's not going to kill me though. I work really hard when I when I work out and I'm very deliberate. So, um, I guess I could afford that at least for the time being. But if I begin to see a problem, I'm going to like, you know, obviously take the precautions I need to, to make and everything. And on top of that, I told you guys I was going to keep it real on this channel and, and that's really what I'm going to do. Um... But more importantly, I'm just, I miss you guys. I miss all of you. And let me know how you guys have been. Um, please let me know if you're still watching. It's just, I know, I fucked up. Like, I hit 100 subscribers, and then I just, like, boom, just stopped posting stuff. And that was an epic whistle fail. I don't know. I'm never going to try that again. But um, it, it just, I just stopped posting. And for that, I don't know what the hell to say. Like, my bad, I guess. I just dropped the ball on that. But um, I'm going to try to start posting again. It's just something that I enjoy, and I really think I need to start doing it. it. It used to be a really big part of my life, and now it's something that I just miss. I reminisce posting videos, and I'm going to start doing it again. Um, or at least I'm going to try my ass off to do it. So, 
Uh, I already played a Black Ops game. I have a Black Ops game coming out. Hopefully, I'll be able to post that um, again. So, but anyway, um, like I said, I'm keeping it real on this channel. And the, my girlfriend, she's great. I really, really enjoy being her boyfriend and everything. And it's nice. The only issue is she comes with, um, well, she's having problems right now. Let's put it that way. Um, she's having problems. I, I don't want to like say this the wrong way. I don't even know if I should be saying this, but again, I just keep it real. This is like my running diary and, um, it's nothing bad anyway, but she struggles with, uh, I, I, I mean, she struggles with, I'm going to call it anxiety right now. Okay. Um, and with school, so things have been really hard for her at school. So she actually had to come back home and she might take a semester off. And so for me, when she told me this, the selfish part of me was like, yeah, she's going to be back in town. We'll be spending more time together. But then at the same time, the other side of me, the logical side is like, she's missing school. I can't get too excited over this because I know how important her school is to her. So we've been spending a lot of time together because she's been down and I've been enjoying every minute of it. I love being with her. But at the same time, knowing that she's going through that internal turmoil, it, it breaks my heart slightly because I know that she's going through something very difficult that no matter how hard I try, I really can't help her with. I just have to be there for her and be supportive. Um, she, you know, sometimes she'll tell me, like, I think you deserve better. Or she'll tell me, like, that she has, you know, she has these thoughts, like, she thinks negatively because that's just a side effect of the condition that she has. Um, she, she thinks it's depression. She, you know, she, she's gone through something like this before. And um, she, I mean, we both know that I didn't trigger it because she's tried to um not be with me before and things got worse so we know it's not me we know it's not one thing in particular it's just a bunch of things crashing down she's always telling me plus also when we're together she forgets about it she tells me and she tells me that things are just good when she's with me and and that's cool because to me i mean i go through the same like i go through issues myself like when i'm with her things are perfect but when i'm not I have these insecurity issues that just come out and like I start thinking negative thoughts. I'm not a jealous guy or anything like that. It's more like I wonder if she's still feeling me just because I've been hurt a lot in my life. So it's like that emotional scar tissue that people just build up from this fucked up world that we live in. So um, again, I'm, I'm really happy to be with her. And like, you know, she she's so great. Like she told me because the other day she was really having a bad day and she just told me she was like, I don't know I just feel like you deserve better sometimes and I think about it and like yeah it would make me really sad to see you with another girl and she was like but if I knew you were happy then I'd be happy enough like that's how I feel for you and I mean I just I started laughing at her and I told her I was like you're crazy like I've waited on you for a while I'm not gonna just leave when things seem like they're difficult things will get better and so right now that's what I'm that's where I'm at right now that's what's been taking up some of my time but I wouldn't have it any other way, to be honest with you. I looked at my life before she came into it, and now. To sum up Bob Marley, the truth is everyone's going to hurt you. You just got to find the ones that are worth suffering for. And I'll tell you guys one thing, she's definitely worth it. Not a day goes by, not a second goes by in my mind where I wish that I wasn't with her. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace.